Hello everyone and welcome to Amasafti webcast. In this video, we are going to create site links, configure replication related settings and assign preferred bridged servers to transport protocols. For this video, we are using the same lab scenario from our previous video. But let me again give you an overview of my lab setup. We are using single domain active directory forest named mylab.local and in that we have created total three active directory sites named Mumbai head office, Delhi branch office and Bangalore branch office. We are assuming that we have one WAN link between Mumbai head office to Delhi branch office. We have another WAN link between Mumbai head office to Bangalore branch office and we have a third backup WAN link between Delhi branch office to Bengaluru branch office. Right now we have this kind of replication topology in our lab setup because right now all these three Active Directory sites are using same IP site link and that is the default IP site link. And that's why we want to create site links to change the replication topology according to our network topology. So the objective of this videos are we need to create site link between Mumbai HO to Delhi branch office. We need to create one more site link between Mumbai HO to Bengaluru branch office as well as we need to create third site link which will be for this slow backup van link between Delhi branch office to Bengaluru branch office. Then we will specify the application interval because we are treating uh, this link as a backup link. So we need to change the cost of that uh, site link as well and in the fourth we want to configure our WS2K19-DC01 as a bridged server for IP transfer protocol. So let's move to our DC01. Uh, this is the domain controller where we are going to perform all these operations. Let's move it. First of all we need to open Active Directory Sites and Services Console. Okay, remember this will be a short video demonstration uh, here. I am only covering the steps to create site link and uh, configure replication related settings. Okay, right now you can see under Bengaluru branch office we have uh, only one server and that is Bengaluru DC4. Under Delhi we have a uh, Delhi DC03 and under Mumbai HO we have two servers WS2K19 heaven DC01 and DC02. Let's expand inter site transfer protocol and first let me show the subnets as well. So we have created three subnets as well. Let's expand inter site transfer protocol. We are only using IP. So let's expand IP and here you can see we have a default site link which is created by default and all these three active directory sites currently using this site link. Let's double click on it and here you can see uh, sites in the site links are Bangalore branch office, Delhi branch office and Mumbai head office. So the first thing which I'm going to do is let's rename the site link. Okay, so name will be Mumbai to Delhi. Now we are also want to create two more sites links. So let's select new site link. Okay, we need to select sites as well. So Bangalore branch office will be there and Mumbai head office will be there. Okay, fine. Now we are going to create third site link which will be Delhi to Bengaluru. Let's select Delhi branch office and let's select Bengaluru branch office as well. Okay, fine. The first thing which we need to modify is uh, let's uh, select Mumbai to Delhi branch office because right now our all three active directory sites are in Mumbai to Delhi site link. So let's right click here, go over the properties and we need to remove Bengaluru site from this. Let's remove it. Click on apply and click on OK. So now Based on our topology, we have two site links, uh, one between Mumbai to Delhi, another between Mumbai head office to Bangalore branch office and the third one which is we are treating as a uh, backup site link. So for that we need to change cost interval. So first of all I am going to modify Mumbai to Delhi. Let's change the cost. Lower value means highest priority. So as of now I am specifying 60. Click on apply. And click on OK. So we want to give the priority to the site link and same for Mumbai to Bangalore as well. So let's select the properties and let's set 60. Click on apply and OK. That means this two site links has the highest priority for replication based on the cost value and we are not going to change the cost value of Delhi to Bangalore site because in case this site link is down that time we need to use this site link. Fine. Now we are going to change the replication interval as well. So let's select Mumbai to Delhi. Go for the properties 
and you can see the application interval is specified here if you want you can change the application interval from here as well and uh, if you want to modify advanced settings for that you need to click on a change a schedule uh, as of now we don't want replication during business hours so let's select uh, monday let's select 7 to 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. and we don't want replication between that time duration fine so it will be a Monday to Friday 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. click on OK apply and here I also want to change the replication interval which will be a 50 minutes fine let's do the same for Mumbai to Bangalore go for the properties select change schedule Okay, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And we don't want replication between that time duration. And also want to change the replication at every 50 minutes. Fine. Let's click on apply. And okay. We are not going to change anything for Delhi to Bengaluru. Okay, so now we have a uh, site links. And see, if you want, you can create site link bridge as well. But right now, uh, we don't need to create site link bridge because by default, if you select a uh, property of IP, by default, KCC is bridging all the site links so i don't recommend it uh, to clear this checkbox because even if you create site link bridge that time cases is not going to use that uh, site link bridge because of this settings so if you want to create a site link bridge that time you need to clear this checkbox fine and we are not going to do that let's click on cancel so we have successfully configured uh, there's two steps it is completed and third one is also completed we have changed that application interval as well now we are going for the fourth in that we want to configure ws 2 k 19 heaven dc 01 as a bridged server so let's do it see you need to configure bridged server in that in that case where you have a multiple domain controllers in same active directory sites so for bengaluru and delhi it is not necessary uh, to create a bridged server because in those sites we have only one domain controller and definitely those domain controllers are going to act as a bridged server if you want you can specify but i don't think so it is necessary there but in our Mumbai Active Directory site, we have a two domain controller and that's why uh, we need to configure one of the domain controller as a bridgehead server. So if we click on servers under Mumbai head office Active Directory site, you can see under bridgehead, it is totally empty. Now the reason is pretty simple one because we haven't configured any of the server as a bridgehead server. So let's select WS2K19 hyphen DC01, go for the properties. And here you can see here we have options to select a bridged server for inter-site data transfer protocol. And we are only using IP, so I just want to add IP. If you are using SMTP and which we are not using anymore, so if you are using that time you need to add SMTP as well. Fine. Click apply and okay. Let's again click on servers. And here you can see under bridgehead IP is there. So it is indicating that we have configured WSUK19 hyphen DC01 as a, a bridgehead server. So now uh, we have changed lots of things on our domain controller and that's why we want to check our application as well. So first of all, let's open uh, PowerShell. Let's run command wrap admin slash sync call. Fine. Uh, we need to run this command on our all domain controllers to quick replication. See, we have changed the replication schedule as well. And that's why I want to perform manual replication as well. So let's expand DC01. Right click here, check all tasks, check replication topology. Click on OK, right click and refresh. See, you know the drill, uh, how to check manual replication. Now you can see three links are there. One is coming from our Bangalore DC. Second one is coming from our Delhi DC03. And the third is coming from our domain controller DC02. Okay, let's check for Delhi DC03. All task check replication topology. Okay, right click and go for the refresh. Uh, right now, still a link is there, so definitely that link will be removed automatically after a certain time interval. And see, uh, we have changed lots of things on our uh, DC01, so definitely it is going to take some time. And after that, the changes will reflect on other domain controller. So that's why I'm going to pause this video. And once everything is good to go, then again I will resume it. Okay, so now after checking manual replication on all the domain controllers, uh, our replication topology has been updated. Uh, let's check right now, as you can see, DC01 is connected with uh, 
थ्री लिंक वन इज कमिंग फ्रॉम अवर बेंगलुरु डोमेन कंट्रोलर बिकॉज दिस सर्वर इज अ प्रीफर ब्रिजेड सर्वर फॉर अवर मुंबई एच ओ ओके रेप्लीकेशन इज हैपनिंग सक्सेसफुली डेली डी सी जीरो थ्री इज करंटली गेटिंग रेप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम अवर डी सी जीरो वन फ्रॉम अवर मुंबई हेड ऑफिस साइट एंड अवर बेंगलुरु टू डी सी इज गेटिंग रेप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम अवर डी सी जीरो वन फ्रॉम मुंबई हेड ऑफिस Okay, and let's check same for DC zero two. It is also getting data from uh, DC zero one from our Mumbai head office. Uh, in short, we have this kind of replication topology for us after creating site links. So this is our Mumbai head office site, and our DC zero one is connected with DC zero three. So one replication link is there in between these two domain controllers. Also, our Bangalore branch office domain controller is getting data directly from DC zero one. Uh, we have one replication link between this domain controller as well. And as this server is configured as a bridged server, that's why this domain controllers are not getting data from this DC zero two domain controller. Uh, we have one more replication link between DC zero one and DC zero two. So this kind of replication topology is ideal one according to the lab scenario which we are using. according to our sites and subnets and based on our site link this is the ideal one according to me and now if you want to modify any settings which is going to impact on all your domain controllers or on your entire forest that time you have to do it from dc01 because this server is directly connected with our application link with other domain controllers So this is the way how you can create site links as well as you can configure application related settings and you can configure bridged servers from intersite transfer protocol Thank you all for watching this video